What's going on guys? So I'm gonna be serious in this video, not gonna be making a lot of jokes and memes. I wanna talk about XSX Tentacion because he passed away recently, he got shot and killed in Miami. And uh, it's a big blow to the hip hop community because he was up and coming, he's only 20 years old. But mourning him has been pretty controversial because of his very troubled past, multiple felonies. And so there's been like a bit of a, a discussion and a conversation and a lot of shaming, which is actually pretty fucked up. What prompted me to really want to talk about this is when I posted about X's passing on Twitter and seeing a lot of people, even my followers, talking some shit, saying stuff like, they're glad he's gone, oh thank goodness he can't hurt anyone anymore, not a big loss to the world. I and I saw somebody unironically compare him to like saying mourning him is like mourning Hitler or Harvey Weinstein. And I'm like, <laughs> wow, that's a pretty that's a pretty big stretch, man. Now I'm sure there's some people that do have trouble separating the art from the artist, but I also know that most people don't, you know, when they actually think about it. Cause there's so many people, there's so many people on this earth that have just controversial lives, that have done a lot of shitty things, but they have made amazing things and we can enjoy their art and then we can just kind of put the person aside and be like, you know what, they put this amazing thing out here and yeah, their name may be attached to it, but it's one of those things that it's like, man, come on. Like, w w like it, it's a little bit asking too much to just numb yourself and, and, and just throw away fucking everything because some people have done some shitty things. Just imagine. Just imagine how many shows, how many music, how much stuff you would have to do. Probably even house appliances, stuff that were made, and be like, oh, this was tied to somebody that was fucked up. How far back do we have to go? Oh, back in the day, this person owned slaves and stuff, so we can't fuck with this. I'm like, there's so many, <laughs> we, can, we can go pretty far with this, but it's something that we just practice on a day-to-day -day basis. We separate the art from the artist, and I, I don't see this as being an exception, you know, and I'm not saying that everybody needs to, I just think that it's really weird seeing people go out of their way and trying to shame others for mourning this person because, hey, maybe his art uh, maybe touched their lives or maybe they're sad that this guy was 20 years old, very fucking young, maybe had time to change his life around, maybe he would have changed his life around. It just sucks seeing the youth being gunned down like this, but they're like, oh, fuck him. He's done all this stuff, multiple felonies. He's a shitty person. And then that's just it. I see other people that were mad at X for uh, some of his art where I remember it was a while ago and somebody even brought this up, actually multiple people brought this up, where he made a music video and it, it depicted a white kid being hanged. And so all these conservatives, specifically conservatives, ran with this and were like, oh, look at this, this is so racist. I can't believe this. Oh, if you try to do this in reverse, there would be a huge outrage and maybe there would be. But at the same time, if it was like actually explained the way it was in this music video, if these people actually watched the entire music video, they would have seen the narrative. They would have seen what it was actually about and him actually condemning both sides of extreme racism and even having a fucking monologue towards the end and really explaining things. But you know, these people, these opportunists, these people that are in the outrage, cause the outrage is on the left and the right. And this time it just happens to be on the right. We're just talking all this shit and being like, oh my God, he's all racist. And I'm like, dude, I just can't deal with these motherfuckers. Those people that were complaining about the kid being hanged are probably the same people that could watch a girl being burnt alive on Game of Thrones. They're talking about fictional characters. Fictional characters. So now I wanna talk about forgiveness. There's a guy named Tim Lambesis that is the singer of As I Lay Dying and a few years ago, he was convicted of trying to hire a hitman to have his wife murdered. Essentially, he was having problems with his wife and uh, she said like she's gonna take the kids away and so he was all freaking out and, and his lawyer said with his roid rage and everything like that, he just tried to have his wife killed, wasn't thinking clearly, but yeah, he went to prison for it. He did his time, he came out, and so there was a little bit of buzz that Azalea Dine was probably gonna get back together, and then they actually did and released a music video just a couple of weeks ago. Now I'm bringing this up because if you look at the the internet buzz, there's a few articles with like the, the metal community, people that own like some of these publications and these outlets were are condemning Tim Lambesis and which is fine, I understand because he did something pretty fucked up, right? But the community as a whole, largely, I'm talking about the vast majority of people are welcoming him back. They are forgiving him and said, yeah, I know you did something fucked up, but it looks like you learned from it. It looks like you're tr changing and maybe you came out on this as on this side as a better person and things are looking on the up and up. And this is something that like, yeah, it's a little weird, but at the same time, it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing to see somebody kind of like redeem themselves. At least for the time being, it seems like he's redeemed himself. It seems like things are chill. And that's what I kind of hope for. That's what I strive for 
And I hoped for the same thing with XXX Tentacion, even though he grew up in this environment that where he was just really fucked up. And then so this domestic abuse and robbery and all these things were just kept going on. Things that are still going on on a day to day basis. Hell man, even where I grew up one time, just I had to be walking in the middle of the night and I got assaulted and almost got mugged. You know what I'm saying? Like shit happens. And this guy just happens to be an artist. So it's one of those things that it becomes a little tricky. And of course, since people like this guy, people like X, they hope for the best. They wish and hope that he would change and get his life together. And he seems like he'd made conscious efforts to change too. But at the same time, you know, it's very hard for some people to just change overnight. You know, sometimes it it's a fucking takes years. Sometimes it takes a long time. To, being around the right people, finding the right people, and there just wasn't enough time. He just got caught up. Now, I already kind of touched upon that I think it's a little weird that people are trying to shame others for how they're mourning his death, but I want to bring up this story just to give a little bit of perspective. It's a little bit extreme, but it also makes sense. Back in 2008, there was a girl named Erin Caffey in Texas. She plotted with her boyfriend and some other friends to kill her family. Now, some of you may remember this story, especially since it was on that show, uh, Killer Women with Piers Morgan. Well, essentially what happened is she was able to kill her two younger brothers and her mom and then she almost killed her dad but he actually was just rushed to the hospital house was burnt down and everything of course they got convicted and all that stuff and now you got to think about this the dad's alive the dad's trying to process everything he's he's totally fucked up uh can't believe that his daughter tried to do something like this especially because she seemed like such a sweetheart but then after a while he reconciled with her he became close with her again and some people may be shocked but at the same time you got to think about it like, even though she's the one that took his family away, she's the only family he has left. Like, that's it. So you can see in a sick, twisted way how he can just reconcile with her and kind of get over all this shit that she tried to kill him and she killed the rest of his family. Like, it's a fucked up thing, but I understand that. And, I, and I'm saying this because that this is how he's choosing to mourn. This is how he's choosing to live his life. And I think it would be really fucked up if someone were to come up with him, you know, just come up to him and say like, hey man, she's a fucking cold blooded killer. Like how dare you even try to be cool with her? Like, you know, why would you, how could you associate with this person at all? Like, how dare you? It's one of those things where it's like, you know, I understand if you feel this certain way, all right. You want to project that type of energy out into the world, fair enough. But it's, it's another thing when you try to go out of your way and try to shame other people and try to make them feel like shit because they're mourning somebody or, hey, here's somebody that they actually may have looked up to even though they've had a really troubled past. You know, I'm sure there's people in your life, there might be family members, loved ones, who knows, that might have a very troubled past. I sure as hell have family members that have had troubled pasts and I'm not just completely writing them off as complete scumbags. I'm hoping that they'll get their shit together. I'm hoping that they'll change their lives for the better. You know, I don't wish like death or ill will on people. I may make little jokes here and there. I may say little things like that. And, and you know, it's just because you're being a little bit edgy and memeish. But there's people that are genuinely angry. They seem like, like, I'm like, why? Like, damn, man. Like, what's going on? Why do you hate this fucking guy so much? But, you know, if you do, fair enough. Just why don't you just you know, let other people be? Are they really harming anybody for mourning XXXTentacion's death? Are they? Maybe you think that they're, oh, you're giving him a pass and then you're gonna give other people a pass. I don't think that's the case, man. I don't think anybody's condoning what the fuck he's done in his past. I don't think that's the case at all. I think there's a lot of people that don't really even like that guy, but they still think it's a fucking shame that he's dead. But that's all I wanna say about this. Personally, I'm bummed out that he's gone. And you know, if there's people that are, that this can't, you know, fuck with him, that still thinks he's a piece of shit no matter what he does and you know even though he's dead but let's say if, even if he was alive that you would never forgive him or anything like that that's fine you know I just think that it's a little shitty to just try to project the way that you think and the way that you go about things on other people that are just trying to mourn alright guys you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video